Hi everyone, this is Jennifer and I wanted to provide you with a quick overview of how to remix a resource within OpenAuthor on OER Commons. So the first thing you're going to do is make your way to our Adult Learning Zone, a Designers for Learning project group. Again, this is in OER Commons and there are instructions within our course on how to get here. The next thing you're going to do is scroll through the resource that you want to remix. So again, this is the resource that you have been evaluating. You have made your decisions on things you want to change, and now you're ready to remix the resource and incorporate the design changes that you have decided are necessary. So I've gone through and looked at the resources and I'm going to pick on Janet Lee. Janet Lee is a prior student in our MOOC as well as a facilitator for the past two sessions. And so I think um, she'll be okay if I use her as an example. So one way to do it, real quick way to do it, is I know she was the author of the resource. So I'm going to type in her name here in the search bar. And up pops her resource. So as you can see, it's the Job Interview Basics, Observe, Discuss, Create. And what I want to do is click on that. And let's just spend a couple seconds going through what we see when we pull this up. As you can see, it's got the title. We can click here and view the resource. Here it's showing Janet Lee as the author. You can see someone has come in and provided an evaluation of the resource, which we'll talk about later in the course, um, using the Achieve rubrics. Um, and here are some of the tags that she's used and the attribution license that she used, the Creative Commons attribution license. So what we want to do for our purposes now to revise this resource is either click on View Resources or the title. Both will take you to the same place. And once you've done that, you'll see along the top you have the option to save the resource. Um, and if you click on that, you can put it into your items. You may have groups that you've um, created for yourself. You can also export it to Google Docs if you wanted. You can also share it on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or you can also download it as a PDF or some of these other options. But what we want to do is remix this resource. So we want to take basically a copy of what Janet's done and make a new resource that we're going to be working off of as our own open educational resource. So click on Remix This Resource. And I'm not going to get into, into a lot of details about Open Author because that's covered in another video. But what I wa do want to do is point out a couple things. First of all, note how it pulled back the title exactly as, as Janet had typed it, but it added the term Remix. And we'd like you to leave that there, please, because as we're going through these evaluations and redesigns, this will help us to identify those resources that have been remixed from a prior iteration. And as I mentioned, there's another video that we have in, that will lay out and also some screenshots that will lay out what all these different options are. It's basically a word processing interface. So if you're familiar with Microsoft Word or Google Docs, all of these options should be um, fairly self-explanatory. One thing I do want to point out is um, there is a table of contents that appears on the left-hand side. And if you'll notice as you scroll down, that aligns with content within your lesson. So we have part one lesson description. Note how that changed the text style to a header. So all of this part one will show up as a dark blue over here um, and left align. If you'd click down the page to lesson title, notice that the that changed to subheader and that's a different type of format over here in the table of contents. So as you're going through and changing things and you want to make sure your table of contents is working, that's where things are aligned. So you change the header type uh, to make sure that it makes sense with a table of contents. Another thing I just want to point out if we scroll down, notice how Janet has included some resources. So she has obviously a lot of text uh, above this point where she's um, describing her lesson. But when you get into the meat of the lesson, she's prepared audio as well as um, some movies, a video, and then also um, a, a document. It's a, it's a .docx file, which I'm sure everyone is uh, familiar with for Microsoft Word. In addition, as I said, here's an audio file. So these are all things, now this is your resource. This is a borrowed resource from Janet, but it's now your resource. So if for whatever reason you decide you're not in love with this audio she's created or you want to take another um, shot at creating it yourself, 
you're more than welcome to do that and then insert your new audio here and delete Janet's and to delete it you simply you know click on it and uh, hit the delete button and get rid of it so what you want to do now after you've gone through and you've made your changes which you'll it'll probably take you a lot of times going back into this document after you um, make some changes you can go up here and hit save and then that will save all your changes and is now in your account for open author in OER Commons. And so next time you come in, you can click on the re your resource and come back in and pick up where you left off. But let's say for the purposes of this example, you've gone through, you've made all of the edits that you care to make and you're ready to publish this new iteration, this new version of the resource. You want to make sure you've gone through and completed two additional tabs. We are currently under the Write tab, the Write meaning W-R-I-T-E, and you want to then also go through and look at the Describe tab as well as the Submit tab. You can do that either by clicking on the tab up here at the top or you can click Next Step Describe. So the Describe tab, we go through this in uh, quite a bit of detail within the course. There's some screenshots on how to fill all of this out. And you just want to make sure this now makes sense with the changes you've made back on the prior screen on the right tab. But assuming it does, click Next Step Submit, which will take you to the final tab. And this is where you make any modifications at all uh, to the license that Janet had previously selected. So she had the most liberal license, the most um, open license, which is the Creative Commons Attribution 4. But if you make any changes, if you don't want, for whatever reason, and I, we hope you don't do this, but if you, for whatever reason, don't want others to modify your lesson, you can make those changes here. And again, we really prefer that you don't do that so we can keep it as open as possible for others. And if for some reason you don't want to allow com commercial use, it is your choice. But again, we ask that you not make that selection. But you're free to do it. It's your, it's your resource. Um, and then also make any changes here. And then finally, click Publish. And what I want to point out here, hopefully it will do this, note how it um, has the pink box here that says, please correct the indicated errors. This is pretty common when you're remixing a resource. There's, there may be something that was now in the um, remixing of the resource that was left out, or in this case, I just tried this before so I know what my problem is. Um, if you scroll down here, you'll see this field is required. So it says material type. This may be a field that OER Commons has now added to this Describe tab that maybe wasn't there when Janet originally did the less, um, the uh, prepared her lesson. So material type. Um, if you go, uh, click on it, you'll see there are all kinds of options for the type of material. And given this is a lesson, we're just going to go ahead and click on Lesson, and click Next Step Submit. No changes here, so we'll click Publish. And there we go. So here's our new resource, and I just want to spend a couple seconds on this page now. So now if we scroll down, notice the author is now you, or in this case me, uh, but your name should appear here. And instead of Janet's, as you remember a moment ago, it showed Janet's name. And what I want to really point out, which I think is really a neat feature of OER Commons and Open Author, if we now click on the resource, again, either to clicking on the title or viewing resource here, we can scroll down and we can now see the version history. So right here, here's our history, remixed from Job Interview Basics, Observe, Discuss, Create, and notice how this was created in 2016 by Janet Lee, uh, which again, I think is a really nice feature because it shows that history and the version, the iterations that have happened. So even though you're now shown as the um, new author, you always are able to go back or whoever uses this resource going forward will always be able to go back and trace its history. And that's about it. So if you have any questions, make sure you post them in the course. Otherwise, good luck.